everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, I wish to share with you my favorite French tart dish called quiche and the following are the ingredients that you need for just forming the short crust pastry. So you have here flour and egg yolk, some cold butter, cold water from the fridge, and some salt to taste. You're going to have to mix all the ingredients all together, but gradually adding the butter as you squeeze it into the flour. Make such a paste, make such a dough, make it look exactly like this, guys. Feel if anything is wrong with it before you actually place it in the refrigerator because you need to place it in the fridge for setting for about a good number of 30 minutes or so. Separately for the filling, you will actually need tomato paste, three cloves of garlic, carrot, red onion, some bacon, ground beef, spring onion chives and cheese, milk for just to give it a bit of a thickening uh, effect and some salt to taste. There aside are also uh, kidney beans, which I'll use to blind bake the pastry once it's rolled out. Another item I was almost forgetting is green peas actually in this recipe. Do not forget green peas. They, they taste so yummy and once it's done this dish, you're actually gonna combine all of them on the stove, saute and everything mix up and set aside. Once the dough has been placed in the fridge, roll it out for a good number of minutes make sure you're not overhandling the food because it will start to you know show signs of overhandling so you want to roll it out quickly and uh using some flour to dust every other time you want it to look like so see that it doesn't sit to the surfaces get a pastry cutter and cut into such discs check for the thickness it shouldn't be too thick too thin because these bulge while in the oven when blind baking Get, the, get those discs and place them in the baking tray like so. Get your uh, kidney beans and make sure that you've placed them just fine. Bake them for about 30 minutes in the temperature of uh, 200 degrees in the oven and just supervise them every other time to see that they cook well. Do not overcook them like I have done in this picture. I regrettably overcooked them because I was watching a series. But hey, I had to actually remedy the situation. So after placing the filling, I actually bake them for a good 20 minutes, less time this time, and lower heat. So this is the final result. The quiche is done. I was pretty impressed with the results, you guys. This is a very lovely dish to try. You can have it for breakfast. You can have it for dinner. You can have it for a snack. You can have it for a lunch on, you know. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I love, love, love the taste of these, guys. You want to try these. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.